In this step, I'm going to show you how to create a liquid material using Arnold, and we're going to put some color in it as well, so it's going to be a colored liquid. What we need to do then, make sure you're in your hypershade, and we are going to clear our workspace and create another new AI standard surface. Nice and easy. I'm going to call this one M underscore health liquid. And the preset I'm going to go for for this one is clear water. And we'll just replace that. This has now given us an idea of how that clear water looks. I want a better idea though, so we're going to swap to the Arnold renderer. This is how the health liquid is coming together so far then. I want this to be your typical red kind of potion. So what I'll do is go into my settings and I'm looking for transmission and I want to give this a color. So I'll start by just clicking on the swatch and just choose the standard red color. And that looks pretty nice. Now you might choose to experiment with how red this is by changing the saturation slider. So you might only want it to be a faint sort of red or you might want it to be a much deeper red. I'm going to go for something like that, I think. And then that's that material ready to go for now. We might make it glow a little bit later as we get onto lighting and rendering, but for now, this will serve its purpose. The issue we've got now is selecting the liquid inside the bottle without selecting the bottle itself. And for that, what we're going to need to do is just go back into Maya and open our outliner. So we get that by going Windows, Outliner. And that will probably pop up on the side of your screen over here, or it could be a floating window. And then you can see that now I've got my flask here and I can select just the health liquid. And once I've got that selected, I'll nip back into my hypershade. And with my health liquid material, I'm going to right click on it and assign material to selection. We can see that now because this has some color to it, it's not completely transparent, which makes it easier to see. And we'll get an idea of how this is going to come together. So let's just have a quick look at this, press play. And you can see that now inside this glass container, we have a liquid. And as light's passing through it, it's also creating a red highlight on the table. So this is all good so far. Before moving on, what I would like you to do is duplicate that health material for a mana material, make it blue or whichever color you choose and assign that to the other liquid, just like I'm going to show you now. Here it is. So assuming you've done it correctly, you will now see that you have a red liquid in one of your flasks and a blue or whichever color you chose in the other. That's going to do it for the basic preset section of creating materials. We're going to move on to creating a texture based material next, which is going to give us a little bit more control over how it looks. It'll also mean that we need to start thinking about UV mapping as well, but we'll get onto that in the upcoming steps. So I will see you in the next step where we're going to create our new floor material. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.